This was designed so I, by the architects who did the house, Roman and Williams. They're amazing designers. This is Gwyneth Paltrow. And they did all of the architects. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's and kitchen. What do you think about it? City, which I don't have anymore. They had done this kitchen I there think for me, which it's I absolutely lived in this it was bright and airy stunning. And, and look at white, that outfit. It it's just a like a lot of these similar details, like in the, the clothing. So I to pull in some elements from the kitchen that they but had anyway. done for us. So apparently, Gwyneth and Megan and Harry hung out. There's some um, talk about yesterday. You, you know how yesterday was it yesterday or, or whenever it was? I, I don't remember. It was the day after Mother's Day. What would that have been? Wait a minute. That's weird. Mother's Day was on Sunday, correct? But today is Monday. So when did they actually go to the sushi bar? Maybe my time is all messed up. I don't know. But apparently, um, when they went to the sushi bar, to my shock, they actually went with Gwyneth Paltrow, Cameron Diaz, and the husband. So there were three or four husbands in tow because there was Gwyneth hus Gwyneth's husband, Brad Falchuk. And Cameron Diaz's husband, Benji Mad Madden. Is it Benji Madden? And uh, Prince Harry, which is Meghan's husband. And there was another person there who I, I don't think is famous at this sushi date. So there were four couples, like eight different people, having sushi. Isn't that interesting? And... um. So, very, very interesting. I mean, I should say just as a disclaimer that I love Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow was my first fangirl crush. <laughs> I don't get fangirl crushes. I don't, I, don't, I don't crush on people very... I don't crush. I don't crush. But I definitely had a fangirl crush on Gwyneth when I was in my 20s. And when she was also in her 20s. And, um, you know, I just think she's amazing. You know, I mean, she's not, she doesn't act anymore. And obviously, I don't watch movies anymore either. But now she has goop. And, you know, she's doing her entrepreneur thing. And, you know, I've always said that. And I think I've said even on this blog that, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow is the only other person I've been a little bit obsessed about as far as like, you know, celebrity crushes go. So it's very unusual for me to be fixated on. I mean, Megan and Harry to me are celebrities, really a royalty celebrity for me. It's the same thing. I mean, it's very, very unusual for me to be fixated on, on a celebrity you know, I just, I don't care about stuff like this. You know, I don't pay attention. I, you know, I can't be bothered, but I loved Gwyneth and I still do. I mean, she's older now, so am I. So it's a little different, you know, I'm a little bit more reserved and she's not in acting anymore. She does goop and, you know, I'm, you know, I can't afford goop, so, you know, whatever, whatever. But I love Gwyneth. And so to find out that Megan and Gwyneth hung out is, is just like crazy. Cameron Diaz is okay too. You know, she's, she's a nice girl. Um, but I really, really love Gwyneth. And so they all live, Diaz and Madden live in Montecito, as do Paltrow and Falchuk. I mean, get out, right? They are all, I mean, I think Montecito is like the new hub for celebrities, you know, because they all want to move away from Los Angeles and be sort of in their own enclave where only the rich and famous live and you know, it's more sort of exclusive. You know, they're always looking for that exclusivity, I think. So it's just amazing, though, to think that Gwyneth and Megan are friends because I just, these are the two, I would say the only two women in Hollywood that I would buy a magazine just to, you know, you know how they used to appear on the cover of magazines? Not so much now. And there was the article like in Vogue or... Vanity Fair or whatever, you know, I would buy a magazine if they're on the cover. It's just like, I love those two women. I really, really love those two women. Anyway, so imagine my shock to hear that they, they're friends and they went out for sushi with their husbands. It's like, oh my gosh, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So shopping with Megan. So Megan, 
apparently, so this is what she wore, according to page six. I, well, this is the website for the brand Sesta Collective. I think this bag is sold out though. And it come, but it does, there's an there's a wait list. It's $695. So it's not my bag. It's not my bag. But it might be your bag. It might be your bag, you know. And um they are woven by female artisans in Rwanda in Africa. Wow. And uh wow, that's amazing. Right, so that was Megan's bucket bag that she had on yesterday, the white one that looks so nice with the brown dress and Harry's white pants. And then she had these Hermes Oran, is it Oran or Oran? I don't know. It's probably Oran, parce que Hermes is French, right? So Oran sandal. And these are very popular. I see these on all the the influencers um, on YouTube. They they have these, like Josie and you know those kinds of girls in in, in England. Well, I only, unfortunately, embarrassingly, I only watch influencers in England, which is weird. This is really strange. Now that I'm, I'm saying that out loud, that's weird. There are three or four different influencers that I watch on a fairly regular basis, and all of them are English. So go figure. Um, oh, that's a nice color. That's a nice color. So that's 700 bucks. The Oran Sandal by Hermes. Paris, Hermes Paris, d'accord? And that's what Megan was wearing. She was wearing the brown one, if you recall. And um, and this dress, this dress looks slightly different. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's four hundred and seventy-five euro uh, dollars. And um, that's just the you know that's what Megan was wearing. Now, where is the picture of Megan actually? In this outfit, I mean, I don't know, but um, this is Town and Country magazine, you know. So these are their their pictures, and yeah. So shopping with Megan, I mean, you know, everything she wears gets sold out in two seconds, and so on and so forth. But yeah, how delicious to know that she and Gwyneth are friends. I approve. <laughs> I approve 100%. <laughs>